Okay guys, so today we're gonna to do an unboxing. Uh, it's an in the boat unboxing. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because we're gonna do a companion video with it and you'll see why when I show you what it is. So uh, after fishing with a friend in a tournament this weekend, uh, which again, um, I apologize for my boat. Um, he had um, side imaging on his console and I thought, okay, that's neat. And it never really occurred to me how important side imaging was until we fished the tournament this weekend and really marked some spots and saw and i had had a spot that um i knew produced fish and it did produce fish but it, and i knew it was a lay down but i didn't know exactly 100 percent how it looked or why and once we ran over it and saw that with the side imaging and whatnot i realized okay that's exactly why they're there this is why they're feeding and i thought to be competitive i really needed uh that advantage and, and again I'm just fishing local tournaments I mean small I'm not obviously not gonna fish in the elites but still you, you know th there's money to be had there um, and I really thought that uh, having that side imaging would be kind of important so uh, I did the unthinkable and I switched to the dark side here we have a hummingbird Helix 7. Uh, this is a newer model I believe it came out this year uh, of course I was running Lawrence before um, he was a hummingbird user. He had, um, the HDS, uh, 10 and an eight on his boat before, and then he ordered hummingbird. Uh, he has the, I believe Onyx units. They're a lot better than these, but, uh, on this little boat and on my budget, this is what we go for. Um, but yeah, this has side imaging, uh, GPS and down imaging built into it. Um, for a really cheap price. Very, very, very cheap price. Um, as opposed to what I had before, the Lawrence uh, Elite 7 Chirp, um, for almost the same price, you can have down imaging and the, the or side imaging and the down imaging, uh, GPS and all that in one unit. So it's kind of, I don't know why I really didn't look into it before. I think I was just kind of hung up on uh, using Lawrence. And uh, once I learned about this guy, I dove right in. So we're going to do an unboxing and then the companion video that'll go with it will be the uh, installation as well. Uh, a lot of people, it, it helped them with the installation of Lawrence. So I'm going to see if I can't do a video of uh, installing this guy too. So we'll go ahead and get into the unboxing. Okay, so I'm not super familiar with these units, but once I get more um, acclimated to it, I will do a video of overview and features to it too, because I did that on the Elite 7 Chirp as well, and people really, really, really enjoyed that. So I, we'll go over that. But uh, we'll go ahead and get into the box here. And on the side here, we do have some tape. You would think I would have a pair of scissors or something close by, but I don't, because I throw everything around once I'm done. Okay, so pulling this out here, that's all we have in the box. Just one little panel, that's pretty nice. Okay, so of course, we have the unit itself. We'll get to that last because that's the best part, obviously. And again, I'm not familiar with hummingbird units at all. So take what I'm saying here with a grain of salt. But um, So what's cool about these, I believe, uh, is that your uh, downside and uh, sonar Everything is in one puck. It's very nice. That's why I decided to switch to these units because with Lawrence, you have to have a separate LSS box. And I could be, uh, with the Gen 3, they may have it built into the transducer, but I'm not 100% sure. But with this, it's built in. And that's what was really stopping me from having the side imaging before was having to spend the extra money um, on a Lawrence product to buy not only the $800 to $900 unit, but then you have to go and buy the actual um, LSS box and cables that go with it, which I, I think they run another $400, if not more. So, I mean, you're spending $1,200 to get side scan as opposed to here, uh, $650 to get into it for a seven inch screen. So, I mean, kind of hard to beat. So again, you have your kind of puck style transducer with everything built in, super cool. Uh, the plugins are a little different from Lawrence. They obviously have their special colored ones that uh, that kind of twist on and whatnot. But uh, as you can see there, that's what you got for that. So next up, I assume this is the power. Um, that's neat. They have the fuse built in right there. I assume that's the fuse, anyways. I would hope so. Um, 
and then of course your two ends that go into uh, your power and uh, ground. Now with Lowrance, they have some extra ones that hang off there for other features. Again, it gets a little, little more convoluted than it needs to be. It's not hard, but it's again, it's a little more convoluted. Um, but that's always been kind of the, the, the difference between Lowrance and Hummingbird. Hummingbird's always been kind of the easy user experience, whereas Lowrance lets you get into a little bit deeper features than these units, so. And honestly, as an Apple user and a Mac user, simplicity, I enjoy. Don't get me wrong, I, I do know a lot about computers and whatnot, but um, it, if something is just user-friendly to me, it, it's more available to, an, to a wider audience, and I like that, and less work for me. So there you go. Uh, next, we have our brackets and mounts here. Um, I'm not gonna open those just yet. I'll show those off in the installation. And then we have our, of course, paperwork, and then it looks like a CD-ROM. Um, oh, it's electronic manuals on a CD-ROM, so that's neat. I actually prefer that to the paper. Not that I'll ever use it, but there you go. Um, and here, I am gonna open this. Here we have our um, gimbal mount. And this is similar to the Lowrance units. I mean, a lot like it. It's a little bit smaller though. And then you have your, uh, I'm not sure why these are separately packaged, but then you have your uh, little screws that keep your unit screwed in. Okay. So now moving on to the actual unit itself. Okay. Another thing I like about this uh, Helix series it is a very slick looking unit. It's very kind of a tablet looking with the flush, the, the way the surface is kind of flush on there. Um, it, more it's the uh, bezel. I like how thin the bezel is around it. I think that's what gives it that kind of look. Whereas with your Lowrance units, you have big, probably half an inch to inch thick bezels around the whole thing. So it gives it a, a bigger appearance than it really is. The screen actually goes from here to here, but you see, the bezel around the actual screen and then here, it makes it look more, um, just just more sleek and bigger. Um, you know, like I said, I don't have a ton of experience with these, so I'm really just going off of first looks and appearances here. But uh, here on the side, you have your view and all that mess. Again, I'm not real familiar with all of it. Um, and your power. Uh, there is a place for an SD card. I assume it's just right here. Let me pull this plastic off of here or a micro SD rather for, um, for loading in maps and updates and whatnot like that. Let's see if this pulls out, yeah. So this little section pulls out here and then you can put your uh, micro SD card in there. I don't like though that uh, this doesn't, this isn't like the Lowrance that has a little thing that hangs on there because if this thing pops off then it's gone, that's it. So I don't like that, but I don't know the odds of one of these popping off, so. Okay, I can't get it back on there. So we'll go to the back here. Of course, you have your Hummingbird logo and then your, the actual uh, mascot logo there. Um, nothing protruding from the back. I like that. Uh, on Lowrance, you have the little things that protrude out that you have to actually screw into, but here you just plug in and go. Uh, again, the downside to that could be accidentally pulling out cables or something like that. Uh, not super familiar with which one is which, but uh, obviously you're gonna have power cable and I believe these have networking, so one of those is gonna be a networking cable as well. Uh, eventually, right now this one's gonna go on my uh, console eventually. Uh, once I get rid of my other unit, I will have one at the front and I think I will use the uh, networking feature and try and uh, try and get them all together. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty cool little unit, really excited about it. Like I said, um, side imaging, down imaging, sonar, GPS all in one unit for 650. For a seven inch unit, it's kind of hard to beat. So um, I did switch over to the dark side. Um, whether it's better or not, that's that remains to be told, but I mean, just having the side imaging there alone is, I think, kind of gives it an edge over the, the Lowrance uh, Elite series. And um, the HDS series for that matter, because again, you're for, for this size screen, 
you're going to spend twice as much for fluorants. So, I mean, and even, even if the Gen 3, I think, which again, I'm not super familiar with, even if they do have it built in, you're still paying a higher price. But um, yeah, pretty neat. Um, that was the unboxing. Like I said, uh, I'm going to do a uh, installation video here in just a moment. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, go check out my last video. Uh, it is our giveaway. Um, pretty cool giveaway this time. Um, some neat new lures, the BBZ1 Rat. Um, we also have the new Berkeley Lipless and uh, Square Bill Crankbaits giving away. Uh, go to that video, like, uh, share, comment, subscribe, all that mess, and uh, you'll be entered to win it. Uh, I'll pick a winner and at probably the end of the month and send them out to you. Anyways, thanks again for watching us.